Today's adventure, I'm going to be working on this nice little munchkin. I got to replace the refractory wall. I was here last week on a maintenance. And the wall ripped. A little piece of it, so. Things first, turn the gas off, which I did. Time to crack the unions. Anybody tell me not to use these for gas, obviously, has not used them. Loosen it, but not take it off. It's easier to do this while it's here than while it's disconnected and out. There's so many jobs that don't I don't make videos of, so the maintenance I didn't show when I was here. And the refractory wall got damaged. But as you can see a little bit of it tore off. And it's got a little gouge there. So the best we can for our customer. I could come in straight. Or I could just slight offset. My hands aren't rubbing on the burner too. This thing's awesome for flame sensors. On the line next is like the G61s.
I mean, my screwdriver would be rubbing that the whole time. Start by laying a refractory wall down. You have to line up your sight glass while we're here. Let's clean it. some cleaner. This time I'm using it as a cleaner. Other times I may be using it as a lubricant. It's not really a lubricant, but let's just see. Free sticky, stop squeaks, removes, protects, loosens, lubricates moving parts. See, it's a lubricant, it lubricates. Not the best lubricant, but it's a lubricant. But it's not like an oil that's gonna stay because it dries. But you got a rusted tool or something, put a little bit on, it's fine. But it doesn't replace oils or anything like that. So you have that there. You have your sight glass here. Right here. And now everything is lined up on that. We're going to use our gasket. And line all those holes up for your burner gasket. It's already clean last week, blew it all out and everything. Makes our order so it gets a little crusty fast. And it's got to cut out. Make sure it lines up with your sight glass. Don't be that guy that you put it back in and nobody can see in the sight glass. Tighten them down yet. Before you tighten them, 
and I was supposed to put a new one there, so put them all on first before you tighten. backwards I'm trying to make sure it's going in the hole correctly so I go forward and back until I feel it catches if it's not catching I don't want to thread it in and destroy my threads right in okay this is where you can start tightening down Everybody has different ways of doing things. I was always taught to do like a star pattern almost on gaskets. As you pull this down, some of that work tight might loosen a little. Now you can just slowly go around it. Good. 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 Now, just line it up. And make sure you're going to go straight on to your bolts. As I said, you don't want to damage your new wall. That's fine, that didn't do anything. But these are what damage it. Now it's going to hold itself. I will never use an impact doing this. Everybody's like, use an impact, do this, do that. Sorry, I don't want to create fucky thread. That video is funny. <laughs> but I don't want to make that stuff with this. Now I could always get my tap and die, but why do I want to? And then this is inch pounds of torque, so. seen guys take their ratchets and then try to keep going and going there's nothing there I mean inch pounds of torque that's it I'm not 
force in that thing at all. If it doesn't want to go, it's good. out again might as well give it a quick wipe off you know it's clean but never hurts These are hard to get clean. They're always that orangey color. Always make sure your gap is good. I was taught two nickels. I know everybody likes their nut drivers, whichever one they use. I'm a big fan of the Malco Connects because anything I need, screwdriver, nut driver, anything, long, short, whatever, they all work. So on your screws here. gas pipe it'll stay the direction I want I don't know I forgot to charge this thing see the red lights on uh, means battery is about to die but I'm almost done with this so I'll have it on the charger in no time
This is the only time that light is not a great light to have. I don't care. I mean, it's been on for a while, the red light, but I should have done that from the get-go. Live and learn. Jobs like this is where my headlamp is a better option. I have your speed blower power. Your zone valve opening. F09, I ain't even here to try. Okay, there we go. Fault is reset. Now we got a gas line full of air, so it's gonna take a few seconds. Okay, it's proven the pressure switch. Sparking, we're sparking, we let rough light. Let's try it again. Powering back up. I should let it run for a few seconds. There we go. It's a better burn. Let it run for a couple minutes. 
Maybe a little bit of the WD or whatever is blocking her channel. So I let it get hot, burn out, any crap in it, and then refire it. Everything I just used. Snipe that up. Yes, it's a cleaner. And this is all part of the job. Finish the job, you gotta clean your tools. Thing and turning the crap every time you use it just clean it and they're stands but you're on a customer's time but you dirtied them using them on their time so Boiler is burning really nice. You let it get hot. And it's cool really quickly. Shut it down. So it'll purge itself. I think that valve is noisy. Thing's an antique. Check that thing out. <laughs> Another pump. I'll have to write the pump up. Come back with one. Yeah, pump's starting to get a little noisy. Cartridge inside. This should be a lot better of a start now than it was. Yep. It's a nice ignition right there. All right, well, thanks for watching. Just gotta put this back together now. I'm all done. Almost done cleaning my tools, too. Remember, tools are expensive, so when you use them on a job, clean them on your job. It's the easiest way to take care of your tools because you dirtied them on the job, so yeah, cleaning them and putting them away is part of the job.
even if your employer will replace them, it doesn't matter. I don't want to replace my tools. They don't replace them because they're rusty. They replace them when they break. That's why they look new. It's because every time I use them, I do this. Till next time.